An introduction to meshes. What is a mesh? Let's find out by creating one. We start off by creating a point in space called a vertex. Next, we create two more vertices. We then join the vertices together with straight lines called edges to create a closed triangular shape. Finally, we fill the area inside the triangular shape with an opaque color to create a face. We have now created a mesh. This particular mesh is the simplest type of mesh, and it is called a triangular or tris mesh. It is a flat or planar mesh. Four vertices connected to form a four-sided, closed, and filled shape creates a quadrilateral or quad mesh. A quad mesh can be flat or three-dimensional. Five or more vertices connected together to form a closed and filled shape creates a polygonal or n-gon mesh. N-gon meshes could also be flat or three-dimensional. We have seen that there are three types of meshes and that every mesh is made up of vertices, edges, and faces. So the next question is, what are meshes used for? Meshes are the building blocks for creating computer-generated three-dimensional models. One or more types of meshes can be used in combination to create a 3D model. And the process of using meshes to create a three-dimensional model is called mesh modeling or polygonal modeling. The final product of mesh modeling is called a mesh model. Now that we know what meshes are and what they are used for, let us conclude by looking at the properties of meshes. One type of mesh can be converted to another type by adding vertices or by removing vertices. A mesh can be subdivided into two or more meshes such that the subdivided meshes share one or more vertices and one or more edges. Or the mesh can be split into independent meshes each with its own set of vertices and edges. The reverse is also true that multiple meshes can be merged together to become one mesh. Every mesh face has a front side and a back side. The direction that is perpendicular or at a right angle to a face is called a face normal and it is indicated by a line or an arrow pointing outwards from the center of the face. A normal can be flipped from one side of a face to the other. A normal is used to determine the angle that light rays are reflected when they hit the surface of a mesh. The angle that an incident light ray makes with the normal at any point on a face is the same angle that the ray will be reflected on the opposite side of the normal. The vertex also has a normal pointing in the direction that is an average of the normals of the surfaces that the vertex belongs to. In this example, these two vertices belong to face 1 only, therefore, their normals point in the same direction as the normal of face 1. These two vertices however are shared by both face 1 and face 2, therefore their normals will face a direction midway between the normal of face 1 and the normal of face 2. Vertex normals are also used for shading and lighting calculations. That brings us to the end of this introduction. If you found this video enlightening, do share the video and click the subscribe and notification buttons so that you will be notified when the next video is available, and also, tell us what you think about the accuracy and the quality of the video in the comments section. Thanks for watching.